So you've been playing for maybe a session or two, and you've gotten to a point in the adventure, you're in a dungeon, uh, you, nothing is happening. Maybe the door is locked, all your rolls have failed, you don't know what to do next, and you don't seem to be getting much feedback from the game master. What do you do? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi, I'm GR. This is PlayerBase, which is a channel about ludology, which is the study of the dynamics of play. And in this series, where we're focusing on how to play a tabletop role-playing game, particularly if you're new to the hobby, we're going over some very basic aspects that don't really get covered in you know, most online polls of how to get a plus five magic sword at level one or whatever, but actually impact how you actually enjoy and play the game. And today we're going to talk about when you're stuck, what do you do? Well, here's what I do. I ask questions. I ask questions about the environment that the game master knows and my character would know. I ask questions about what do I see? What does it look like to me? Uh, what is the smell in the air? Do I taste anything? Does the you know perhaps there's like a an acidity or an iron taste in the in the atmosphere? What's the temperature like? What's the humidity like? Uh, how old is this place? Do I notice anything out of place? Would I notice anything out of place? And sometimes the dungeon master or the game master will ask you, well, what would you know? You know maybe your character, for some reason, has some knowledge of architectural history or archaeology or, uh, you know, rocks. Uh, you know, dwarves very often have some kind of rock knowledge, some rock lore, and they can tell that the schist is slightly off so that there's a secret passageway or some, something like that. But... You know, maybe you just happen to notice that, you know, all of the doors are, you know, Roman archways, except one that is clearly square. Oh, that's noticeable. And then you move from there. If that doesn't get you anywhere, or even if it does, you move on to taking actions. Uh, I'm going to go up to uh, this rock in particular and uh, kick it with my boot uh, using the heel. Uh, I'm going to see if I can jump and touch the ceiling. Um, if you're engaged in some kind of negotiation with a non-player character, I'm going to ask them about their family life. You know, I'm going to buy them another drink. I'm going to leave the uh, establishment that I'm in and walk around the block in-game. Now, especially new game masters might be thrown off by this because they don't necessarily have the, or they don't feel comfortable just coming up with stuff ad hoc. And that's it. If that's something that you want to hear about, how to do that, that's a different series. Mention it in the comments and we'll talk about that. But for now, we're just addressing the fact that maybe a new dungeon master, a new game master might not know how to address this. And the way that we approach it with them is we, if they're like really kind of frazzled, then you just say to them, okay, well, um, what do you have? What do I see? What is there? And if going down that street isn't something they have prepared, maybe this other street. It, it can enter into a metagame conversation, which for the sake of play and actually staying in the game is perfectly viable. You know, the oldest Indo-Aryan poetry, the Mahabharata, and I mean, technically Metamorphosis and Virgil, um, what did he do? No, it's Metamorphosis and the Aeneid, Virgil and Ovid. You know, the, the actual narrator, the, the author of the story is in the story that they're writing, Vyasa in particular. It's the first self-insert in anything. Uh, and I, personally, I think the Mahabharata is better than uh, the Aeneid and the Metamorphosis, but it's not what you came here to talk about, so we're going to leave that for later. Um, you know... It, People popping in um, and breaking the fourth wall in that way, so to speak, is, I mean, that's literally the oldest written uh, Indo-Aryan epic poem we have. Well, one of them. And it's there. So you're pretty safe with that. It's not going to break the mood necessarily if you're asking to re-engineer the direction with the game master. And if simply going through your tools isn't doing it, and simply asking, where do you want to go? What do you want us to do? Uh, and we're at an impasse. Throw us a bone. That's perfectly fine. If you get a little frustrated, that's even okay. 
Uh, but don't lose heart, you know. It's um, especially new people get really, players and game masters alike, the biggest mistake that they make is they get tripped up because they, they you know, much like speaking in public, they worry that someone's really listening or they can see their notes. And, and no one really cares. They just want to kind of have a good time. And there's a certain understood or even not understood um, but accepted amount of fudge room. And getting comfortable with that is really the secret to this. If, you know, getting really into um, diving into the Inspector Clouseau uh, detective work isn't getting you anywhere, just having a conversation is perfectly fine. And I've spoken long enough about this. So tomorrow we're going to discuss another aspect of the same issue. Uh, and uh, can you guess what it is? Uh, roll an inside check. Bye.